What's going on, family? I'm just here to remind you that you can get yourself a copy of my new book, On the Shoulders of Giants, Volume 4 of the Caribbean, by visiting my website, www.ontheshoulders1.com, and help support me as I continue on my mission to make sure that my people have our information, even though, you know, there are many people trying to stop us from learning our history. But hey, we can teach ourselves. And one of the tools we can use is my new book, On the Shoulders of Giants, Volume 4, The Caribbean. Remember, visit my website, www.ontheshoulders1.com to get your copy. And I appreciate your support. Sylvia Del Viard, one of the most notable Afro-Puerto Rican advocates. Sylvia Del Viard was born on February 28th, 1928 in Santrice, Puerto Rico. She was the daughter of Augustine Villard and Marcolina Gilbert, parents who recognized their daughter was talented from a young age. Not only was Villard a very talented young girl, but she was an excellent student as well. She was one of the top students to graduate grade school in Santrice, Puerto Rico. Her academic achievements earned her a scholarship from the Puerto Rican government to attend Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. As an Afro-Puerto Rican attending college in the southern United States in the late 1940s, she faced blatant racism on a regular basis, so much that she decided to leave Fisk University and attend the University of Puerto Rico, where she earned her bachelor's degree. Following her graduation from the University of Puerto Rico, Villar returned to the United States and enrolled in the City College of New York. During this time, Villar's life would change for the better. While living in Puerto Rico, VR would start her professional career as a singer and poet in nightclubs. But her career would peak when she began receiving voice lessons from opera voice coach Leo Braun and Russian pianist Sonia Red. VR joined a song and dance troupe called Africa House and she also became a member of the Karabali dancers. Being a part of these troops exposed VR to African history and culture. It was during this time she received her historical and cultural awakening. She was awakened to the beauty and richness of her African ancestry. From then on, she began integrating African poetry, music, dances, clothing, and culture into her performances. In 1979, Villar was invited to perform at the Pan-African Association Festival of the New World in Lagos, Nigeria. She also used her time in Nigeria to trace her family's roots, attempting to learn if her lineage traces back to Nigeria. In 1968, VR founded the Afro Boricua El Coqui Theater, an organization that was recognized as the authority on Afro Puerto Rican culture by the Pan American Association. The organization earned a contract to visit other countries to spread Afro Puerto Rican culture. As a theater actress, she was a leading actress in more than 14 productions. She was also able to play a role in three movies that were professional productions. As a dancer and choreographer, she was able to star in 10 productions in Puerto Rico and the United States. During the 1970s, VR founded the Luis Palais Matos Theater after her favorite poet, a theater she used to impact her community until it was forced to close down. It is said that the theater closed down because VR's promotion of Afro-Puerto Rican culture was not favored by the authorities. Following the closing of the theater, VR moved back to New York where she founded the Sonique Company and became a teacher. In 1981, she became the first and only person as director of the Office of the Afro-Puerto Rican Affairs of the Puerto Rican Institute of Culture. Sylvia Del Villar died on February 28, 1990 due to lung cancer in Puerto Rico. Her spirit of activism was felt throughout her lifetime and is still being felt today. Her strength, courage, and tenacity is what helped her to live a legendary life. To Sylvia Del Villar, we proudly stand on your shoulders. For more information, make sure you visit my website at www.ontheshoulders1.com. There, you can get a copy of my new book, On the Shoulders of Giants, Volume 4, The Caribbean. You can also support me on Patreon at patreon.com backslash O-T-S-O-G. And you can hit the super like button up under this video. I love you all and catch this next video coming up.